Beoth, chapter 8. Unferth, the son of Eklaf, who sat at the feet of the Shuldings' lord, spoke quarrelsome words. The quest of Beowulf, that noble mariner, galled him greatly, for he always begrudged other men who might achieve more fame under heaven than he himself. Are you that Beowulf, Breca's rival, who strove with him in swimming the open sea, pridefully braving the floods and foolishly risking your lives in the deep waters? Nor could any friend or foe dissuade you from swimming the dangerous main. You covered the ocean's tides with your arms, measuring the sea streets you strained hands, and swam over the waters while buffeted about by the ocean's roll. You strove in the sea realm for seven nights, and he behest you in swimming. He bested you in swimming and covered more of the main. Then, at the morning's tide, the swells cast him on the shores of the Heatheram people, whence he made for the dear home of his beloved liegemen, the fair land of the Brondings, where he ruled his folk's town and treasures and triumph over you. Beanston's son achieved his goal. I anticipate worse luck for your adventure. Though you've braved the blows of battle and grim struggle, if you wait through the night of Grendel's approach. Explanation. So anybody that is going to try, like Beowulf has done, to say, you know, I am going to do this great things, you're always going to have detractors that don't believe in what you say you're going to do. So this is Unferth at this point. And Unferth come, basically speaks up, and it's funny that they say he's at the, like, the feet of the king. Basically, he's like below the king. He's like a peasant of the king, but he's like right there, you know, like a good suck up. And he's like, you know, are you the same Beowulf that like tried to swim across this channel against Brekka? And like, Brekka won? and went on to, like, rule a kingdom. Is, is that the same Beowulf that I remember talking about that can't even, like, win a swimming match? Like, good luck, because, like, this monster has killed, you know, a lot of people, and you can't even win a swimming match. Is, is, is that the Beowulf that we're talking about here? So he's basically smack-talking against him. How rude. Back to the reading. Beowulf, son of Edgethau, spoke... What mighty things you've just said of Brecca and his triumph, my dear Unferth, while you're drunk with beer. I say in truth that I have proved more might in the sea than any other man, and more endurance in the, in the ocean. The two of us had talked in our youth and bragged. We were still mere boys then, that we would risk our lives far out at sea. And so we did it. We held drawn blades in our hands as we swam along, hoping to guard ourselves against the whale beasts. He could not float any further over the water's flood than I, nor hasten more over the billows, and neither could I abandon him. The two of us stayed together on the sea for five nights until the flood parted us, and churning waves, chilly weather, and dark night, and a fierce northern wind rushed upon us, and the waves were rough, and the wrath of the sea fish was stirred, and my coat of mail, hard and hand-linked, availed me much protection against the monsters. The battle vest was bound to my breast and decorated with gold. A fierce creature held me firm and pulled me to the bottom with the strongest grip. Nevertheless, it was granted to me that I pierced the monster with my sword point. By my hand and battle blade was the giant sea beast conquered. Explanation. So... Un Unferth comes out and basically says, ah, was this you that lost the swimming match against Brecca? And Beowulf's like, mm, yeah, like, I do remember that. Yeah. Oh, Brecca and I, we were so young and stupid then, and we did this thing, and I admit that that was stupid, but, you know, like, we were swimming along, and then, like, I got attacked by these sea monsters, and I killed them all, and, yeah, he probably ended up winning, but... I had to kill all these sea monsters and survive and then didn't end up winning. So, like, still good for me because I had to kill sea monsters in order to win. So that was just a little bit of a, uh, you know, pissing match between 
Unferth and Beowulf. Meanwhile, Unferth doesn't have any of his own boasts to give, and Beowulf even makes a comment like, oh, yeah, that's nice of you to say when you're drunk. Like, you wouldn't say that if you were sober to my face, but because you're drunk, you're going to say it. So good job. We'll see how Unferth responds to that in the next chapter, I do believe, and maybe we'll get to some time where um, we're going to start monster fighting uh, in chapter nine. Thank you for listening.